Hi, I'm Edward Meyer, and welcome to Impact's Tech Tip Series. Today, we're going to discuss internet cookies, what they are, how they work, and how to disable them on Google Chrome or unblock them if you want. So let's start with the basics. What are internet cookies? A cookie is a small text file stored on your computer that was placed there by a website you visited. Not only are they great for personalizing your general experience, but they're also crucial to some elements of typical internet activity. For instance, without cookies, you could never go shopping online. Your cart would reset every time you clicked on a new page, even on the same website. They're also what allow you to remain logged into your online account so you don't have to enter your credentials every time you check your email. However, because they can store information, they're also very attractive to people who want to track activity and advertise to you across websites. And worse, they're also attractive to hackers who can steal cookies with your login credentials and use them to access your online accounts. The technology of cookies is actually pretty basic. When you visit a website, it stores a small string on your browser, usually with an ID. Then the next time you visit that site, it will send that ID back to the website server. The website can look up your information it has associated with that ID and then personalize the way it displays the web page for you. If you've ever seen your name on an e-commerce site or an ad that looks like they were tailor-made for you, that's the work of cookies. And that's it. While there are many ways servers can use the IDs they have associated with you, the cookies themselves are just strings of text, nothing more. Most browsers will offer you the option to allow all cookies, block all cookies, or find a middle ground that makes you feel most comfortable. Here's how to disable cookies on Google Chrome. Start by opening your browser on your computer. On the top right, click the three vertical dots and then Settings. Go to the Privacy and Security tab, then click Cookies and Other Site Data. From there, you can select between Allow All Cookies, Block All Cookies, Block Third-Party Cookies in Incognito, and Block Third-Party Cookies. That's it. Once you've selected, the browser will implement your preferred cookie settings until you change them. Blocking all cookies is not typically recommended because sites that require you to sign in won't work as they can't access your ID every time you click a new page. Also, any other site where you've saved preferences won't remember what those preferences are. So if you have disabled all cookies on Google Chrome, but would like to start allowing at least a few of them through again, here's how you would unblock them. Start by navigating to the same page where you block them. Click the three vertical dots at the top right, then Settings, select Privacy and Security tab, and finally, Cookies and Other Site Data. Once you're there, it's easy to select an option that allows you to unblock cookies. Allow All Cookies obviously allows all of them. Block third-party cookies in incognito and block third-party cookies allows cookies from the sites you're visiting but blocks any third party which are primarily used for advertising. Keep learning more about cookies directly on Google. They have a lot of resources about what your settings mean, how you can customize them all the way down to exactly which sites you'll allow to place cookies and which ones you won't. Explore how businesses can use cookies or how you can avoid them by taking a look at all of Impact's blogs, videos, and other insights. Thank you.